Hello, this video presentation is about food waste generation, so let's start with a definition. Food waste is any solid or liquid food substance, raw or cooked, which is disguised or intended or required to be disguised. Food waste includes organic residues, such as carrots or potato peels, generated by the processing, handling, storage, cell, preparation, cooking, and serving of foods. According to a survey made by the Alliance for Food Waste Reduction with the help and supervision of EPA, 26 manufacturing, retail, and wholesale companies participated on that survey. Those 26 companies represented the 47% of the total revenue, so which means that out of the thousands and thousands of industries, those 26 represent almost a half of the revenue, which is, which means that that survey was very significant and um, relevant. According to the survey, the food disposed was 4.1 billion pounds, of which 1.4 billion were donated to feed hungry and or to feed animals. The major complaints from restaurants and industry is the transportation constraints and liability concern. With respect to recycling, the major complaint was the insufficient options in, uh, in, in recycling. The other uh, topic is that uh, approximately 20% of the food waste produced or generated by the manufacturing sector was food waste. That means that one out of five pounds of the waste was food waste, which is a pretty high number and it's a number to be worried about it. Um, in a 2012 in US, the food waste generated was about 2% from industry, 10% was from the institutions, 11% from grocery stores, 33% was from full and quick service restaurants, and 44% was from residential, residential. Opportunities, logistical solutions, tax reduction, policies to encourage additional food donation and educational programs to tell people the importance of this topic. Thank you. Hello, I'm going to briefly speak on some of the implications of food waste in America. Now, one of the most obvious that occurs is the squandering of resources. Researchers estimate that Americans waste about 40% of our food. So for an average family of four, that's between $1,300 and $2,200 per year. Or for America as a total, $160 billion annually. Now, it's not just finances that get wasted when we waste food. There's things called embedded resources that also get squandered, primarily water and oil. The water is for irrigating and raising livestock, and the oil is primarily for transporting and processing goods. For example, to procure and raise one pound of beef necessitates 1,800 gallons of water for the cow to drink and to irrigate the grain that the cow will eventually eat, everything like that. Now, another major implication that has to do with food waste in America is the environmental impact. One fifth of our waste stream that gets landfilled is food waste, and that will produce greenhouse gases during anaerobic decomposition in the landfill. And landfills are the number two source of human-related methane emissions. So methane is about 20 times more potent of a greenhouse gas than CO2 is, but they both will take their toll in the atmosphere over time. Now the last implication may not have to do directly with the food energy water nexus, but is the moral or ethical question or implication that has to do with our food waste. Uh, with 15% of homes in America not having a steady supply of food, it just raises questions about the morality of constantly wasting food. And I'm not saying anybody wants the scraps on the side of your plate, but we could get in the habit of preparing less food over time and then perhaps donating what we didn't use, um, the unprepared food that we would have prepared in our old habits. So these are just some of the implications of food waste in America, and hopefully we can reduce food waste over the years. Thank you. You see, one of the coolest things about my job as an engineer is I get to learn how to do things such as recycling, composting, and basically minimize the kind of stuff that we put in landfills and be able to reuse it into the environment. So here's what we're going to do. I actually have at my work, if you see behind me here, I have a, a special 
trash cans just for my work. This is the Orlando Waste Paper Company. Now we can see here that there are certain things that we can't have. We cannot have garbage, hazardous waste, medical waste, yard waste. And pretty much the, the idea for Orlando is they really want to help recycle. That's one of the basic things that we can do to help minimize waste in the United States and around the world. Another cool thing would be something just as simple as the grass. I'm going to give you one more quick yard tip that will help you to be able to preserve any food and food scraps that you have in your house. Now the groundwater table here in Florida is very shallow. You hit ground pretty much about three to four feet down you'll hit water. So what you really want to do is when you want to compost anything that you've eaten, if you have peanut shells, if you have apple slices, anything like that, what you want to do is you want to dig a nice little pit, you want to get a piece of, of um, clear um, plastic that you can actually put over it to help heat all the waste that you're putting in. So you dig a big hole, you fill it with organics, and then you cover it with the plastic. During the day, the sun heats it up, and when you add just a little bit of water, what ends up happening is you get a nice composting, and if you have a garden such as myself at home, you can use it for beautiful compost that'll really help your plants grow and provide more food for your house. Thanks for watching, guys. Waste accounted for 14.5 percent of total municipal solid waste generation in 2012, according to the EPA. This might seem like a small percentage, but in reality, it's 35 million tons of food waste generated in one calendar year. Here are some steps to reduce food waste generation. Eat the food you have instead of eating the food you recently bought. Take notice of what you do throw away. Understand why you throw it away and buy less of it. And most importantly, eat all of your leftovers. And when you are at home, you should definitely consider eating out less. You save money and you don't overeat and you don't develop bad eating habits. But when you are at a restaurant, only order what you can finish. If you can't generate less food waste, make a conscious effort to donate to food banks, learn how to compost, and learn about recycling programs in your area. Remember, let's feed people, not landfills.